प्रोफेसर सत्यकाम जी प्रोफेसर महापात्र जी प्रोफेसर उग्रेति मैम एंड माय डियर कलीग्स एंड डायरेक्टर ऑफ द आर एस डी दैन द स्टाफ ऑफ रीजनल सेंटर्स माय कलीग्स ऑफ द रीजनल सेंटर्स एंड डायरेक्टर्स ऑफ स्कूल्स एंड पार्टिसिपेंट्स ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हार्टी वेलकम नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग just i would uh, uh, like to uh, introduce this inauguration program by the vice our vice chancellor with the inspiration encouragement and support of the honorable vice chancellor we have taken up this new initiative among the other initiatives which we have completed and which are under pipeline this is uh, for the Uh, live lectures to be delivered through uh, swayam prabha platform it is a continuous process then sir i would i would like to take this opportunity <coughs> to present the school initiatives which have completed and which are online and which are going to be proposed one is sir become cbcs we have completed the first batch in the year of january 2022 then mba we reached the first batch completion of the third semester and january the fourth semester students are <coughs> going to register and the uh, faculty is uh, in the busy to develop the courses of the fourth semester sir and we have initiated the post graduate diploma diplomas four diplomas for revision and fifth new diploma we are going to initiate that is post graduate diploma in service management sir then we have developed promos in the mba and the bba for english hindi and other indian languages then sir we have taken up the new mous with chartered account uh, uh, institute of uh, cost accountants of india and institute of company secretaries <clears throat> now we are in the process of uh signing the mou for institute of company secretaries and we have done the decentralization of the evaluation of uh, mba and bba uh <coughs> project synopsis sir then now we are going to initiate the mba general uh, program uh, for, as demanded by the uh, partner institutions abroad and we are taken up the initiative bba, BBA. bba general and we have taken up the initiative to offer the bba retailing sir which is in collaboration with the retailers of association of india to the abroad institutions also because the mou is allowing to offer abroad by the university and we have started orientation programs to the students initially with the mba students sir it will continue for all the programs to all the regional centers just now i requested director um, rsd to uh, support and facilitate we will take up the orientation program to students continuously to all the regional centers covering all the students sir sunday we have taken <coughs> taken up the uh, orientation program the students of bangalore rc nearly more than 300 students participated sir and it went on 3 hours 6 to 7, 4 to 7 uh, pm then the students are also very happy to uh, listen the uh, uh, teacher voice as well as to they uh, address their issues so it will uh, continue sir with these few words i request the honorable vice chancellor to grace this okay okay good morning Line, sir honorable vice chancellor respected pro vice chancellor my dear colleagues at headquarters and regional centers and all the viewers today we have gathered here for quite a unique purpose that being the inauguration of swayam prabha live sessions for our flagship mba program it is a historical day for the program along with school of management studies and the university at present our university has been entrusted with the responsibility of national coordinator for swayamprabha project for four channels 
channel 17 to channel 20. Swayam Prabha channels, which telecast the curriculum based course content covering diverse disciplines with an objective to meet the needs of diversified learners group. The unique facility will be adding exceptional value to the existing support system of the program. As we all know, the exponential increase or in the number of enrollment of MBA program that is that has crossed around 18,000 in this July session. This Swamprava live session will be of tremendous help to reach out learners across the length and breadth. The interactive alternative mode of the Swamprava live sessions will bridge the gap between the faculty and the learners. Management discipline is over enthusiastic for this <coughs> exclusive facility to reach its learners. This would not have been possible without the visionary leadership of our Honorable Vice Chancellor. <coughs> Firstly, we will be starting the live session from the headquarters and very soon the live sessions will be telecasted from the respective <coughs> regional centers wherever Swamprava Live Facility is available. For this, we will require the cooperation of all the regional centers. We are sure, as always, our colleagues at regional centers will be providing the same. I'm also immensely delighted to say that today is another milestone day in the history of IGNO and particularly for management discipline, as our Honorable Vice Chancellor, who himself is a professor of management, is going to deliver the first lecture of the Swamprava Life System for Management Program. We at the headquarters and regional centers and our learners will be honored for the noble service by the Honorable Vice Chancellor. Looking forward to this initiative being a great and grand success. Thank you so much. Thank you, Professor Nayantala. Uh, she has been uh, a guiding force in initiating all the initiatives. Uh, now I invite uh, our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Sir Professor Nageshwar Rao, to deliver his inaugural Good morning to all of you. First of all, I am happy to see the growth and the initiatives which the School of Management has taken to strengthen their programs, not only in terms of revision. But also, they are now trying to reach the learners directly. This facility is available to us since 2017. And we have been given five Swayam Prabha channels at that point of time. And then there was a time when the ministry wanted to take it back because we are not using those channels comprehensively. Then we persuaded them that these channels they are of immense use to the learners. And through that, we can reach to a large number of learners in an effective way, that is, even at their home also. Even yesterday, also, I pressed upon the need to have the use of these Swayam Prabha channels to Honorable Minister of Education. And today, this initiative, specifically by the School of Management, where is the most popular course? Even uh, three days back, UGC chairman has also said that for the management programs, they are the most popular online program all over the country. Of course, in that, our contribution was not significant, but we are going to reach large number of learners even to that level. <coughs> Especially when we are having the access of this Swayam Prabha channel. The Swayam Prabha channel, this is now interactive also. And these channels, they have been distributed to all the schools uh, almost two and a half years back. But on account of Corona and other uh, things, we could not use those channels effectively. Now, today, the initiative of the management, it will also give new insights to 
other schools also to come forward and see that the most effective way to reach to the learner is reaching to them visually also because offline mode where we used to send our cassettes but now we are speaking to them directly also those teachers who were not visible to them because they were the course writers course coordinators <coughs> content editors now they can also directly see to the learners also and the learners they will be happy to see you all genius people whose books they have read it self learning materials they have read it and they comprehended it and they understood it and most of our students still we see the creamy layer of ignu learners that is the management students go anywhere you will find that the people at the top position they are from the uh, management discipline and especially they have done the mba so that glory uh, you all have tried to uh, further strengthen it because earlier we do have only one management program now we are having the five management programs in addition to that we are also having a program on banking and finance the enrollment as already it has been pointed out by the schools that has gone up from 2 to 3000 now 18000 the courses were comprehensively revised and we are now seeing the pulse of the learners the pulse of the environment the pulse of the national priority and these things they are helping us to see that how our self learning material they can reach to the learners in an effective way because now all this material is also available in our e gyan portal even the e content app of ignu that is also providing these materials to the learners and this is the first time when we wanted to have the direct interaction with the learners uh, presuming that yesterday was the closing day for all the enrollments uh, especially the undergraduate and uh, postgraduate programs with the ugc has earlier set that particular deadline of course it was being revised later on and now we can even admit learners today also but this particular process it uh, is also helping us to understand that how teachers are more important in this entire process. teaching learning process in that process now the involvement of teachers it will definitely strengthen the inputs also because now even the use of the counselors that can also be made in that process and that experiment has also given us good results when we started this initiative way back in january 6th by uh, introducing these uh, social science courses in the regional languages and a student of sociology a student of history a student of public administration now they can get the learning get the teaching process through their own mother tongue and by this day around 3000 lectures they have been delivered and out of uh, these 3000 if you see that for each of these regional uh, languages or the mother tongues 250 lectures we can easily find out and i know that in a span of next 2 to 3 years we will find that every material every course of undergraduate program will have adequate uh, material the material in terms of the video lectures by the experts in the mother tongue and that they can be reused youtube channel is also with us so that also it can be used and the learner now they are not supposed to come to the institution to get the lecture delivered to take the counseling sessions receive the counseling sessions from the learner professors he can have it at his home also the great initiative great effort and i must compliment each one of you from the school and also our facilitators who are looking at all the regional centers mm -hmm. all over the country uh, who are making sincere efforts to reach to the learners effectively they are providing a bridge that how this uh, video lectures they can reach to the learners more effectively 
So this is a great initiative, and maybe the management department is uh, coming again in the limelight and reaching internationally also through these video lectures through uh, this channel, which is available to us. And maybe in due course of time, the number of channels which are using they will also go up because presently we are having 34 channels at the ministry level. Out of that, four have been allotted to us. The number now it has gone up to 68, and they may provide a few more channels, provided we use those channels comprehensively. Because this facility is available to us, this facility is provided to us almost free of cost, so that these to the learners it can be made much much more effective. Director, other faculty members, and our counselors also who will be associated with this process at latter stage. Uh, they all need to get special compliments from my side for taking this initiative and that too when the response to the MBA program is quite encouraging during the last few months. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your inspiring words. Uh, with your vision and motivation, School of Management Studies is moving ahead in its endeavor to provide quality education to our learners. Uh, now, I request our Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, to inaugurate the Swam Kappa Life session. Towards all who make an event rewarding. I now invite Professor Rajiv Shukla to present her vote of thanks. Sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, Namaskar. Honorable uh, Vice Chancellor, sir, Professor Rao, sir, uh, Vice Chancellors, directors, heads of division, remains for schools, regional directors, and colleagues from the School of Management Studies. We thank you all for uh, our taking part in this innovation of strength of our channel working for India and Indian We extend our sincere gratitude to, to the Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Rao sir, for his visionary and inspiring leadership and mentoring the School of Management Studies. We also thank our Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor Satya Kamji, Professor Sumitra Madam, Dr. Mahapatra Ji, uh, Dr. Uma, Anjilal Madam, and uh, Professor Mina Ji for their valuable encouragement to all the activities of the School of Management Studies. I take this opportunity to thank our Director, Professor MSS Raju, for guidance, for guidance and support, and all the faculty members of the School of Management Studies for their cooperation and active participation. I would like to extend my sister thanks to Director COE, Director RSB, Director PMPC, and uh, VCO, DPRO for supporting and encouragement to activities of this event. Last but not the least, I would like to sincerely thank all the viewers who are virtually uh, participating in this event. Thank you. Once again, thanks. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you all for gracing the situation. Uh, I request all the regional centers to connect uh, on Swam Prabha live uh, session, which will start at 11. And uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, will be taking the first session. Thank you so much.
from Wabadra. <laughs>